It was the two and a half seconds between the first shot which missed Shinzo Abe and the second fatal one that was crucial. No fewer than eight security experts believe that the former prime minister could have been shielded or removed from the line of fire during this time if his bodyguards had been close enough to reach him in a second or two. Around 10 police escorts were deployed. Had these escorts understood their roles and properly communicated with other escorts to be more vigilant with the surroundings, I think they could have prevented the first shot. Experts note Mr Abe's bodyguards didn't have any kind of surveillance in the crowd and officials did not control or restrict traffic and people on the ground. Had they used a campaign truck, it would have been easier for the bodyguards to protect former Prime Minister Abe and it would have been easier to view 360 degrees of their surroundings. His security detail allowed 41-year-old Setsuya Yamagami to come within seven metres of Shinzo Abe before firing a first shot with his homemade gun, followed by a second from five metres away. It's also believed it was the wrong response for some of the security to go after the shooter instead of moving to protect the former leader after he'd fallen to the ground. The killing has shocked a nation where gun violence is rare. People are also used to politicians campaigning close to the public with light security. But this looks set to change. I've been informed that the National Public Safety Commission and the National Police Agency are examining what went wrong and looking for specific measures to respond to the current situation. I urge them to study examples of how other countries guard important dignitaries so that we can inspect and fix what needs to be fixed. The National Police Agency says it's set up a team to review security and protection measures and will take steps to prevent such a serious incident from recurring. Yvonne Yong, ABC News.